This problem is asking us to find the equations of the lines parallel and perpendicular to a given line through a given point. So one key first step to being able to do this well is that we're going to have to figure out what the slope of the given line is. So for simplicity's sake I'm just going to take that given line and transfer it into what we call the slope intercept form. So subtract 3x from both sides so that we yield 5y equals negative 3x plus 2 then divide by 5 to yield y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2 fifths. Okay now that was nice for us because now I can see the slope. The slope is negative 3 fifths. So when I want to find the equations of the lines that are parallel or perpendicular, I'm just going to have to remember two facts. One, parallel line has same slope. And two, perpendicular line has opposite reciprocal slope. So one has same slope and one has opposite reciprocal slope. Okay, and also this problem is wonderful because it doesn't specify which version we have to put the line in. So we effectively get to choose and we're going to just make it as simple as possible. We're going to do the point slope form of a line. So first up, what is the parallel line? The parallel line would be y minus the y coordinate we were given, which was negative 1. This is coming from the point 2 comma negative 1. Let me put that one in orange so we can see it. So y minus negative 1 equals m, which is slope, and it's the same slope, so go negative 3 fifths, x minus the x coordinate, which is 2. So y plus 1 equals negative 3 fifths, x minus 2. That would be my final answer for the parallel line and for the perpendicular line, we're going to do almost the same thing, perpendicular. Really the only thing that changes for the perpendicular is that its slope is an opposite reciprocal. So as I come down here, I'm actually going to rewrite the exact same thing already simplified. y plus 1 equals, instead of negative 3 fifths though, I'm going to put positive 5 thirds. Because I reciprocal, I flip it over and I take the opposite of whatever sign it used to be and then put my x minus 2. And that's the final answer for the perpendicular line. So once you get one, the other one kind of follows nice and easily. So why don't you pause the video and try to do this next problem on your own. Try to find the equations of the lines parallel and perpendicular to y equals 3 halves x plus 5 through the point negative 3 comma 7. So assuming you paused it and gave it a shot here, I was much nicer this time, notice that the slope was 3 halves because the line was already in slope intercept form. Therefore, what is our parallel line? Our parallel line will be y minus 7 equals same slope, so 3 halves, x minus negative 3, uh, I might choose to do a little bit of simplification here and say y minus 7 equals 3 halves times x plus 3. And for the perpendicular, I've already done all the work. Let's not redo all the work that we've done already and just say y minus 7 equals, we have an x plus 3, we've already done that. But for the perpendicular slope, instead of using the 3 halves, we'll opposite and we'll reciprocal. So the answer here would be y minus 7 equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 3.